and we are ready to do this. From Bristol, it's Richard Edwards. Good morning, Richard. Good morning, Ken. How do we find you this morning? Pretty well, actually, yeah. Um, a little bit nervous, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward, looking forward to having a crack at it. Excellent, excellent, that man. Yeah, well, then, you sounded a little surprised that you were in good form, so I think we all are on a Monday morning. So <laughs> nice you uh, work in uh, the bicycle business. Yeah, so, um, I run my own business, the, the Windmill Hill Bike Doctor in, in Bristol. I've oh. been for uh, four years. Um, but I also work for a, a really cool cycling charity called Drive Cycle UK, which is also based in Bristol. And uh, we do kind of cycling projects in the, in the city. Right, great. Oh, so you, you, it's pointless to say that you enjoy your cycling. You obviously do. You get out and about quite a lot, yeah? Yeah, so it's, it's kind of how I get about, really. I mean, I, I, I don't really like driving very much. I prefer to on two wheels and scooting about on those rather than four. But yeah, I'm... Not really. Well, if you can get out, get where you want to go by bike, then it's better than by car, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. You can often often beat a car, go, you know, going go to a commuting, you can beat a car easy peasy in Bristol on, on a bike. There's no problem. Right. Good, good, good. Now, you play guitar, I believe. Yeah, so I play in a band. We've got a band called The Fools on the Hill, and uh, it's a local band, some friends, friends of, our, of mine, and uh, we kind of play local concerts. Uh, or not, you know, we're pretty good, I think, but obviously not not. Not big time or anything, and uh, and we've got a charity concert coming up in June, uh, June the fourteenth. All right, um, tell us about that. Where's that going to be? It's going to be at Saint Michael's Lord Angels Church in in Windmill Hill, and there's four different acts playing, uh, raising money for Christian Aid, and it's uh, based on the Jules Holland style, so all the acts will be in the round, playing playing one after the other. Oh, so, fantastic! Fourteenth right. of June um, should be good. Good. They all turn up in their droves, I'm sure. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Richard, choose one of these. Okay. Paper thin or cats and dogs? Paper thin or cats and dogs? Let's get the cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Right. <laughs> right. Score today. What's going to be the dizzy height we reach? Oh, uh, maybe two? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes I can get up to the 20s and sometimes it starts about nine. So... Depends on the question. Please. Okay. Well, I'll try and find the right ones for you. Okay. Best of luck, then. Okay. And here they come. Right. According to the title of the number one by the police, what was in a bottle? Message in the bottle. Message in the bottle. Three points. Name the lead singer with hot chocolate who had his own solo hit in 1987 with Personal Touch. I think that, I mean... Errol Brown. It was Errol Brown. Here's your first bonus question on Cats and Dogs from 1979. This is the first of two top 20 hits achieved by this group. Please give me the group name. No, I don't know that one, Ken. Sorry. Don't know? Okay, they are the Corgis. Ah. Right. <laughs> Making Plans for Nigel was the title of the 1979 Top 40 debut by which group? Making Plans for Nigel. Was it Squeeze? No, it wasn't. It was XTC. Ah. 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 In which year did this week's Top 3 have Beautiful Liar by Beyonce and Shakira at number 3? Makes Me Wonder by Maroon 5 at number two, and Umbrella by Rihanna at number one. I'm going to go for 2006. Oh, one year out, I'm afraid. Ah. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, most people would go more recently, and they'd be wrong, because it's 2007. Ah. 2007. But oh. most people would say, oh, it was about three years ago, wasn't it? You know, but no, <laughs> it was seven years ago. Ah, oh, right, okay. Bonus question. Cats and Dogs, you've got to hear part of a verse from a 1988 top ten hit by Bross. Please give me the title of this song. Title? Love Cats. 
No. Uh, worth a guess. Uh, Cat Among the Pigeons. Ah, right, well, okay. The recent song by Sam Smith has the same three word title as the 1971 debut hit by The Faces. What's that song title? Did you say three word title? Three words, yeah. Sam Smith at the moment and The Faces in 1971. Five, four, three, two, one. No, no. it no. was Stay With Me. Ah, right, okay. Which duo had top ten singles in 1988 called Domino Dancing and Left to My Own Devices? Oh, okay. Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys, yes. Bonus question, Cats and Dogs. This is 1971 top ten hit by a man whose real name was Roland Kent Lavoie. Under what name did he release this single? Me and you and a dog. What's the name of the artist? Donovan. Not Donovan, no. Uh, Lobo, he called himself. Finally, the group Limmy and the Family Cookin' had three hit singles in the 70s. Name me anyone. Limmy and the Family Cookin'? Limmy and the Family Cookin'. Wow. Um... Oh, I don't know Ken, so I've never heard of them, sorry. Oh, okay. You <laughs> might, may well have heard of the songs. You Can Do Magic, A Walk in Miracle, and Dreamboat. Ah, right. Okay. Right. Uh, nine points today. Oh. Not maybe your highest ever. No, not my greatest. No, no, no. But still, it may well be enough. We won't know until we've heard what Paul Wallace has to offer, and we'll hear that after this. this time it's Paul Wallace from Romford. Morning, Paul. Good morning, Ken. How are you? Terrific. How are you? Yeah, not bad at all. Pleased to hear. What are you doing today? I'm just having a well-earned day off. Well-earned day off today. You, you've earned it. You've certainly earned it. Tell me what you do. Uh, I'm a London bus driver, Ken. Good man yourself. <laughs> um, where do you work from? Uh, I work out of Tottenham Garage, but um, yeah, I do quite a few routes that go through London and stuff. So, uh... right. Excellent, excellent. How long have you been doing that? Uh, only a couple of years, actually. Huh? Uh, I had a change in career. So. What were you doing before? Uh, I was a windscreen fitter before. <laughs> right. All oh, right. So, yeah. Indoor work suits, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, As it were. It's, it's, on my bottom opening and shutting doors, it's fine with me. It's not too bad, is it? You know, it could be worse. And meeting the general public, who are lovely. Oh, and they're wonderful, yeah. <laughs> you cook very well. Um, family? You got a family? Yeah, yeah, I've got, got the Mrs. Sally, and uh, I've got three kids. I've got a uh, little Harley, who's three, Emma, who's nine, and my eldest, Kyle, 19, who's listening at the moment. Hello, Kyle. Terrific. Hello, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, you've been on Pointless. Uh, yes, I have indeed. I think that's something we share, isn't it? It is, because uh, I've been on Pointless once. In fact, I've been on twice, and one is yet to go out. So, uh, oh, right, okay. So, uh, is yours uh, out, or is uh, it? No, mine is yet to go out. Right. Uh, as you know, they film so far in advance, these things. Well, don't yeah. tell us any more. Don't tell us any more. No, 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 no. Don't spoil the moment. We look forward to seeing you on that, though. Absolutely. And you've been on Popmaster before, yeah? I have, yeah, a few years ago. Yeah? What did you do that time? Um, done quite well, actually. Uh, the questions went in my favour, so, uh, scored, um, I think it was about 33, I think. Right, and you get your 3 and 10 as well? Yeah, I managed to, uh, buy, buy a digital radio, so I'm hoping to get one for the upstairs now. All right, well, you can never have too many. <laughs> um, well, choose carefully then. Paper Thin or Debut Hits? Um, let's go with Debut Hits. Debut Hits, okay, let's see what you get. Nine points on the scoreboard from Richard, so we wish you luck with that. And here they come. T-Rex spent six weeks at number one in 1971 singing about hot what? Love. Hot love, yes, three points. Postcards is the title of the recent single by which singer-songwriter? Oh, I don't get much chance to listen to the uh, radio at the moment. No, I wouldn't matter much. Don't know. Okay, it's James Blunt. Here's a bonus question. Debut hits. Peter Cox and Richard Drummy made their chart debut in 1985 with this single. Under what name did they release the track? What was the name they used? Oh, that would be Go West. Go West is right. And Richard Drummy, 
holds the title of celebrity pop master. When he took part in this a few years ago, he okay. knows he knows his stuff. So do you. Six points. Who's the American singer who had hits in the eighties with the singles Gloria and Self Control? Uh, was it? Uh, um. Five, four, three. Laura Branigan. Yes, Laura Branigan is right. Well done. Uh, what's the title of the number one by Corner Shop from 1998 that includes the repeated line, "Everybody needs a bosom for a pillow"? That's not real. Um, <laughs> that be Corner Shop. Yeah, I've given you that already. Yeah, what's the title of it? Oh, sorry, Brimford of Asher. That's right. That's right. Bonus question: Debut hits. Please identify this group from their 1972 chart debut. Meet me on the corner. Name of that group, please. Oh, I'll take a stab at a rock of Smokey. No, it's not, actually. It's Linda's Farm. Oh. In which year were the songs at number 30, 20, and 10 in this week's chart? I've Been Drinking by the Jeff Beck Group, Stuck in the Middle with You by Steeler's Wheel, and Walk on the Wild Side by Lou Reed. Oh, good as me. Um, let's make a stab at 75. Two years away, I'm afraid. 73. Iggy Pop had two top 40 singles in the 90s with songs that he'd recorded back in the 70s. Name me either of these songs. Uh, Lust for Life. Yep, that was one. Do you know the other one by any chance? You don't need to for the points. Uh, it was Passenger. It was The Passenger, you're right. Well done. Bonus question. Debut hits. This is a top 10 hit from 1998. This singer's debut hit. What's her name? Who's uh, that? Leanne Rhymes. Leanne Rhymes is correct, yes. And final question. Who was the male half of the early 80s duo Yazoo? Uh, Vince Clark. It was Vince Clark, you're right. With, of course, Alison Moyer. 27 points. Oh, not bad. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Not quite as many as last time, but still. Uh, the questions, um, bonuses suited you quite nicely, didn't they? Apart from one. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Well done, Paul. You're today's winner. Um, bad luck, Richard. Oh, it was close, Ken, wasn't it? It was very tight in the end, yes, very tight. <laughs> I'm sure you'd have done better with the debut hits, wouldn't you? No, oh, well and truly deep in there, Ken. Oh, well, never you mind. You've, <laughs> you've got the great joy of a Popmaster T-shirt coming your way. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Great to talk can to I you. Can I say a few hellos? Yep, you on you go. Okay, can I say hello to my, my wife, Sarah, and my children, Megan and Thomas? Uh, hello to the Fools on the Hills, that's Paul and Lucy and Jonathan. See you tonight, and I'll, I'll get the beers in. Uh, and say hello to everyone at Life Cycle UK, the cycling charity. Um, yeah, see you soon. There we are. Richard, lovely to talk to you. Thanks for being on. Thanks very much, Ken. Cheers. All the best. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Richard Edwards in Windmill Hill. So, it's Paul Wallace of Romford who's through to 3 and 10. You got your 3 and 10 last time, Paul, so let's see if you can do it again. Okay. 10 seconds, 3 answers. Today, please, the titles of three UK single chart hits. Four. 3 in 10. Five star. Oh, rain or shine? Yeah. Um. Oh, oh one of my favourites is. Well, that was their biggest hit, Rain or Shine. Got to number two. Other big hits, Systematic. Oh, yeah. Slightest Touch, Stay Out of My Life. Can't wait another minute and find the time. These are yeah, the top probably. ten hits. But, uh, <laughs> sorry, yeah. Uh, there's quite a few, actually, funnily enough, but um, that was the big one. You got the big one, so no shame there at all. No shame. And you get the MP3 player. Okay, well, that's, that's lovely. It's a different one, you see. You got the, you don't, you don't want digital radio really again, so you've got an MP3 player this time. Oh, that's right. Then. Much yeah, better. Give, give it to the kids. That's it, that's it. Paul, great fun having you on today. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much, Ken. Do you want to do a, a little shout to anybody while you're there? Oh, uh, yeah, just uh, hello to everyone who knows me, that old classic. That's the stuff. Thanks, Paul. Thanks, mate. See you again. Bye now. Bye bye. Paul Wallace. Now, come on. That's, that's got you. It's inspired you. You want to do it tomorrow. You can. 0500 288 291. Call us from 9 until 10.